Here we are, it's Daddy again, and this time I'm updating for the Biggest Loser Challenge. This week's challenge, sharing my kitchen with you. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to warn you, I have a very small kitchen, I don't much like to cook, and I have no idea what you might see. So, let's go. We shall start out with this small little cabinet here, and you must know that I don't live alone. I am the mother of two teenage daughters and a wife to a husband. Um, <laughs> butternut squash soup, which I have not eaten. I have some protein snacks. This cupboard was kind of like my little cupboard for a while, where all of my protein crap went. Um, I've got some cocoa wheat. I've got some chocolate soy snacks back in there. I've got this drink, which I will never drink because I can't stand anything with sucralose. It doesn't like me, and I don't like it. These are for the family. I don't much eat pasta anymore. Um, some more protein stuff down here. Cran peach. I don't. I don't drink stuff like that. Look at that carnation instant breakfast. Oh yum. Some sweet barbecue snack mix, protein snacks, 120 calories, some jello, a standalone peanut butter protein bar, um, some vegetable thin crackers. I eat a few crackers now and then. We've got some protein blueberry pancake mix, some nasty protein brown sugar, oatmeal, um, most of this stuff I will not touch, and I probably should just get rid of it. So that is cabinet one. Let's move on. This is the pantry closet, and we have who knows what in here. We have some canned goods. We have some refried beans. We have some peaches and oatmeal and some canned beans. Some stuffing mix, which I might have a few bites of. Nothing is in any particular order in here. Um, more soups. More. Um, these are soy nuts. Smoky barbecue soy nuts. <sighs> Haven't had those in a while. Um, I got some fun oatmeal. Haven't tried any of it. Look at dark chocolate oatmeal. It kind of sounds gross, but I, uh, I'm going to try it anyway. Two and a half grams of fat, four grams of protein for one little pouch. I also got some abundance maple and brown sugar oatmeal, some pears and pineapple, and more more soup, home style minestrone. I'm a canned cuisine type of girl, I guess at times. Creamy mushroom yuck, that's not mine. My husband will eat that, not me. Um, I do buy, once in a great while, treat ourselves to some tastefully simple treats. This is artichoke and spinach, a warm dip mix. I'll make that someday and, and have a little treat. Oh, we've got tomato juice up there, which I do not eat or drink. Excess energy bars. Um, which, 15 grams of protein per bar, excess energy, and we sell those through our lovely little, um, business, and down here is the mess where the kid, a lot of the kid stuff is, ramen noodles and macaroni and cheese, I mean, that's like cheap food, not very healthy, and I don't eat it. But I did pick up some seasonal cereal. Look at Frankenberry. Come on. It's like bringing me back to my childhood. Um, okay, that is that. Ugly. Water is very important, and I get my water from this little bad boy. My water cooler. Picked up some wheat thin flatbread, Tuscan herb, crisps. Here's another cabinet. And everything just gets thrown around. It's terrible. Got some canned pumpkin. We've got some whey protein powder that I've used a couple times. We've got some stevia. And of course we got some lemonade mix that's not really mine. Hot cocoa mix that's not necessarily mine. 
brown sugar, which I do use on occasion. Peanut butter, which I do use on occasion. I got some pesto stuff for a recipe I thought I was going to try. I haven't gotten around to it. Um, and I am going to be honest right now with you. I um, treat myself to a little chocolate indulgence every now and then. And that comes in the form of Nutella. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so, so good. And honey, honey, orange extract, and all these other crap. Um, singles, Kool-Aid to go. I don't, I don't drink those either. This is the freezer, and I don't have much in here. I have a couple popsicles. I have, <laughs> yummy! It's alcohol in a pouch. It's a margarita, and I could so open and drink that right now, although I won't. Deli flat buns, sort of, bread, if I have bread. And we have shrimp scampi frozen stuff. We have broccoli cut. Hey, I would say these um, salmon burgers are pretty tasty. We have some blueberries, we have some chicken strips, we have some Tyson ground turkey, or excuse me, Jenny O' ground turkey. I have a, it's a yogurt sitting in here, freezing up, it's going to be a frozen yogurt. And I have, hot damn, <laughs> okay I don't necessarily drink that, but it's in there. And some more ground turkey back there, some more vegetables, some, I think there's some, oh here, it's a cheese pizza, it's not mine. Pizza rolls, ice packs, we've got some tilapia down in there. Yeah, we all share around here. Broccoli. You have the refrigerator. Keep in mind, once again, I share this place with my family. So we had pizza last night. Yep, I admit I had some pizza. We have some butter. We have sour cream. We have my little stuff here. This is the seafood cheese dip that I got today to go with the little bit of crackers I had. Garlic lovers hummus. I love hummus. And we've got some roasted red pepper hummus as well. I could make my own, but I don't. I said I'm not a cook and I'm not about to lie about that. I got some salsa. I got some Sobe Life Water Fuji Apple Pear. Fiji Apple Pear, whatever. I got some deli meat. I got some milk. I got more deli meat and some cheese. More cheese. And some, yeah, I don't know what's in here. Some sort of meat of some sort my husband gets. Mystery drawer. Um, uh, some onions and some celery and baby spinach. Whatever. So nothing exciting. The condiments, um, the dressings, the syrup, a lot of stuff I do not partake in. Margarita, mango margarita mix. I'll tell you what, I must be craving a margarita. That sounds so good. Anyway, okay, that's my refrigerator. Nothing special. Pretty good. There you have it. A tour of my cabinets and refrigerator and freezer. Um, nothing special, but that's kind of what I eat. And not much. <laughs> my husband does the cooking and I just kind of... I pick at whatever we have. I can't say as there's stuff I definitely don't have. I limit bread and I limit a lot of heavy starches, but otherwise I just kind of live. Food is just not important to me anymore. It definitely is not. I don't crave a whole lot. I don't eat a whole lot. Um, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Everybody have a great week.